Starting in the mid-1600s and continuing all the way to the French Revolution in 1789, Europe underwent a period of substantial intellectual achievement. Known as the Enlightenment, the fields of astronomy, chemistry, medicine, physics, philosophy, and others advanced at an accelerated pace that quickly and radically changed society's understanding of the natural world. However, as these new revelations and discoveries put into question the authority and credibility of certain religious teachings, people began to examine the purpose of a religion in each state. One of these thinkers was the English philosopher John Locke. Born in 1632 and having grown up amidst the English Civil War, Locke became a prominent thinker at a young age and his writings centered mostly around the role of government and religion in a society. However, some of his writings had painted him to be somewhat extreme, and in 1683 he fled to the Netherlands. There he would go on to write his famous book, A Letter Concerning Toleration. Influential in its work, the book details how toleration should be encouraged by religious institutions, and how the government itself should remain separate from religion. This concept became known as the separation between church and state and would become a key aspect in Republican governments around the world, including the United States. Now, Locke's position on the issue is unique for his time. Most intellectuals would have argued either for the complete integration of church and state, or the complete dismantlement of any sort of religious power or authority within a society. But Locke's argument is neither completely secular, nor is it completely faithful. He describes both church and state as separate but equally important forces in society. He says that government should remain tolerant of all creeds and should only concern itself with the protection of physical rights, whereas religion should only affect a person's spiritual safety and well-being. Although more than 300 years old, a letter concerning toleration can still be used in modern discussions about the practicality of religion. As Locke argues, Religion should have no authority or influence in the laws or governance of a nation, but it does still have a purpose in society, even today. Religion is able to provide people with answers to questions that science simply cannot, and religion can help ensure a strong sense of morality in society. For example, religion gives an explanation of the afterlife, and by keeping good faith, showing love, forgiveness, and charity towards others, this can help you achieve that salvation in the afterlife. In doing so, that charity and love helps push society towards better morals and expectations for itself. People are more likely to help one another solely for spiritual recompense. As such, Locke's argument is essentially this. Society must ensure that any decision that affects the physical right of the people is devoid of any and all religious influence, but also keep religion an influential force in our personal lives. Maintaining this balance between church and state is key to ensuring a peaceful tomorrow for everyone.